Hello and welcome back to another segment of Terminating Low Voltage Cables. Again, I'm Ron with Ideal and again, welcome to the channel. Hey, in this segment, we're going to talk about wire color code configurations for phone circuits. And if you're looking for a wire color code configurations for data circuits, well, take a look at the channel and you'll find that video as well. Now, in the one for phone circuits here, we're going to discuss a little bit about what's happened over the years, which is the colors have changed in our telephone wire. You know, the old red, green, yellow, black telephone wire we've used forever and ever is fine for phone circuits, but you know, the cabling sold today is not ready to go behind a wall, so you have to use uh, category cabling is the recommendation. And in category cabling, the colors have changed on us, so we'll teach you how to convert old and new there on you. And then I'll also kind of cover with you actually how do you wire up or how are the pins wired up in a standard uh, telephone uh, wall jack, again, that's been around forever and ever. So we'll start by looking at these color code configurations and uh, let's take a close up so you can get a good look at it. Well, here we're going to take a look at telephone colors and how we convert old telephone wire to new category cables. And you'll still be dealing with a lot of older stuff that might still be red, green, yellow, black in nature, but you might have to hook it up with a category cable because the old telephone wire, uh, this lamp cord looking stuff, we call it quad wiring, uh, is still used, but the only place we still want to use it really is between an outlet in a room and a phone in a room. It's extension cord stuff. It's really not code ready to go behind walls anymore. And the industry's trying to get you to stop using it because while it's great phone wire, it's absolutely da uh, terrible data wire. So at a minimum, we want you to use a minimum of category three colors when we wire things like this up behind walls. Now, in old telephone colors, uh, we knew that when we looked at red and green in something like this old surface mounted jack, I knew those two colors indicated line one. And uh, yellow black indicated line two and uh, blue and white would have been line three, brown slate was line four, and believe it or not, telephone cable comes up to 6,000 color pairs in a bundle, and luckily, oh, we don't need to remember all that, at least for this. Now, in cattery cabling, when I look at the four pairs in a cattery cable, whether it's cat three or five or whatever, I know the blue pair is always line one, and I know line two is always orange, and line three is green, and line four is brown, so those are the new colors we've got to deal with. So if I was, again, looking up one of these old surface mounted jacks, this is what it's telling me. It's telling me the green screw in here gets hooked up with the white with the blue stripe on it. And the red gets hooked up with the blue. So that's how we go about converting old colors to new. And of course, here's how we convert the yellow and black to the orange and the white and blue to the green pair. And again, if we're ever trying to convert old color systems to new, this is what I'm going to follow. Now, by the way, if you used any color, would it work? Yes. Uh, but someone coming in behind you would expect that blue pair to be line one. Uh, and uh, if it isn't, well, then we're doing a lot of work as to figure out why it's not. But, and then if you'll see the tip and ring indicated here on the conductors. Now, tip and ring is a kind of a fancy way of saying positive and negative to a phone guy. And it, because telephone companies use DC, not AC, to power their lines. And uh, they were very concerned about this polarity with the DC. You know, there's a positive and negative conductor in DC. And rings are negative in polarity and tips are positive in polarity. And uh, check out the telephone um, uh, video I have on telephone circuits. And we'll explain more about tip and ring to you. So uh, there is how we go about, again, again, converting old to new. And so nonetheless, let's take a look at what the jack actually looks like and how we've gone about uh, laying out the conductors and pairs inside of a typical phone jack. Well, here we're taking a look at the telephone wall plate itself and taking a look at the jack. And what you're looking at here is a picture of a jack. So if you ever want the relationship between a plug and a jack, this would actually plug into that. So uh, now <clears throat> when you look at how phone circuits are wired, this uh, wiring scheme underneath it has some letters and it says USOC. We call that in the industry USOC wiring. So USOC. Now, um, again, this is how phones have been paired out a long time. Uh, they're not trying to insult you any, but that's uh, the, the little letters mean uniform service order code is what the little letters mean. And with, whether I got a two conductor, four conductor, six or eight conductor jack, um, and then behind me is an RJ45, which is, means eight conductors. So if I looked at this and I saw those eight pins in a jack, I would always know that line one resided on pins four and five or the middle two pins in the jack. And of course, our category colors, that's, that's the blue pair. Now, line two in a phone circuit is the next two. So lines, pins three and six make up line two. And if I have an RJ11, which is what the, this old surface mounted phone jack is, there's just four conductors in it or four pins in it. 
I know that they look like this, and line one would be in the middle, and line two would be the outer pairs, okay? Now, if I have an RJ45 like this behind me, and I had a third to fourth pair, line three would be on pins two and seven, and line four would be on pins one and eight, and that's how, we again, we paired out telephone jacks for a really, really long time. We also are indicating the tip and ring polarities of the, of the pairs themselves. And again, we can, uh, if you ever take a look at the telephone uh, video, you'll get a little bit of understanding what we mean by tip and ring. But this is how phones have been pinned out forever and ever. So having a good understanding of this is kind of important, man, especially as you work with phone circuits. So, hey, uh, thanks again uh, for uh, coming to another segment of uh, Low Voltage Cables. You know, I'm Ron with Ideal, and we'll plan on seeing you the next time.